Today we have a very special video. We have early access to the Wizard Paragon and Update 37 and we're gonna test how strong a degree 100 Wizard Paragon is and what this Magus Perfectus can do, what its abilities do and everything else. So I'm super excited about that one because I haven't even unlocked it yet so I want to do everything together with you guys and we're gonna do that. But before we start I just want to say a huge thank you to Ninja Kiwi for allowing us to show you guys a little preview of what's about to come in Update 37. Okay so they allowed us to show you guys two things. Number one is the new map called Erosion, which is what you guys are looking at. And number two is the Wizard Paragon. So let's just show you guys the map first, get it out of the way quickly, and then we're gonna talk on the Wizard Paragon. We're gonna see how strong a degree 100 is. So first off, this map is a map competition winner. And as you guys can see from these road spikes at the bottom and on the right side, there are six of them, which means that there are a total of six tracks. Now, the thing with these ones is that the blues don't come out of all six tracks at the same time, but they start alternating. Well, actually, they start here at the bottom. So if I just send round one you guys are gonna see that it's gonna come out of the bottom but then what happens with this track and this is kind of the genius idea that's why this is an advanced map you guys are gonna see in a second why this is an advanced map is every 18 rounds so if i switch the round to number 18 look at what happens the ice is gonna collapse the bear is gonna move a little bit to the right and now the balloons are gonna start coming out from here so if we send in round 18 this is gonna be the new track and now this space right here is gonna be water so we can place our subs and we can place our buccaneers now you guys are wondering what happens to your towers so let's just place a couple of towers and see what happens let's just place three boomerangs like that let's just send in round 37 so the towers get destroyed, they get sold, which is going to make for a very interesting early game, I think, especially on Chimp Smoke. Here it is, here's around 100 bad, and that is what happens. Now let me show you guys how many towers you can place here. It's not a lot, spoiler alert. So you cannot place the heli, It's the space is just way too tight, there's no way to place the heli. And then you can place the ace, you can fit a village but you can only fit the village right, oh, I guess you can fit the village right here. I guess I saw a little bit of space there. Yeah, there we go. So we're probably gonna have to do some shenanigans, like maybe do a uh, an absolute zero, maybe even like, like a snowstorm onto the flagship, right? So that we can use the space. So that's very interesting. That's the new map. And now let's jump over to the Wizard Paragon. Okay, so I got everything ready. We're gonna need 19420 Wizards. I did the maths on this one. So 19420 Wizards are gonna be the optimal sacrifices. And then I bought a bunch of Drow Totem just so that we can get the degree 100 right now. So this thing is going to cost 500,000 XP, which is on the cheaper side. I think this is as cheap as they get. I think we had the Ace Paragon cost a million, but this thing is 500,000 XP. I haven't even unlocked it yet. So let's buy it. And there it is, the Magus Perfectus. And the in-game cost was $750,000, which makes it, I believe, the second most expensive Paragon after the, after the Ace. Yeah, so this thing should be pretty strong. So there it is, Degree 100 Wizard Paragon. It's got the Phoenix and then this thing looks amazing. Okay, let's take a look at this. So first off, I see three new buttons, the two abilities and then this thing? What does this thing do? We can't click it. There's a graveyard. They actually call this graveyard mana, which is at a hundred thousand, and then this little bar below it. And the graveyard mana seems to be going down. Look at this go. Oh my god, look at this thing go. That looks so good. So I have no idea what that button does. You can definitely press it, but you need to you need to have it in a round actually. Okay, so there is something happening with this one. It's it's filling up the graveyard mana, I think. When the button is I don't know, is this on or off right now? Oh, look at the phoenix, it turned gray for a second. Did you guys catch that? I, I don't know, I just see, I just see this, this cool phoenix attacking. I just see this part, I, but the graveyard is going down, right? So as long as, I guess as long as this phoenix is active, it's draining the graveyard mana slowly. And that button is to toggle it on and off, I think. Let's actually, let's start using the ability. So let's use the first ability, which is what? Boom, okay, so this is the big boom one that they showed in the trailer. So this thing consumes your entire mana and summons ZOMGs and I think it's one ZOMG per 6,000 mana that it has. And the Phoenix is gray again, what is happening? And it's only the wizard attacking. Oh, but you can see the mana regening up top. Okay, so that's very interesting. So you use the ability, the mana goes out and then the wizard is filling up the mana by attacking. That's very interesting. Okay, so I think I get what's happening. At max mana, the phoenix gets summoned. So regardless of what happens, you can summon the phoenix, but you can use this ability that it has the small little button below it to toggle the phoenix on and off. So for example, if you're at like, I don't know, 40,000 mana, but you still kind of need the DPS from the phoenix, you can you click that button and you can use that thingy to, to, to activate the phoenix, right? Get the, get the damage boost for a second, and then you can turn it off. I think that's what's happening. 
Let's try and use the ability again. So it's minus 99,000 on the graveyard and then... Yeah, it's 7,000. 7,700 on the graveyard and this thing... I think that this wizard actually is kind of weak. <laughs> I think his all attack is kind of weak, I'll be honest. Okay, so now it's on. Yeah, exactly. But we don't have any graveyards. We're still draining the graveyard, which means that it's going to expire kind of soon. Or is it weaker, I guess? And then you use the ability again, it consumes everything but no UMGs because the graveyard was empty. Yeah, and by the way, this is a degree 100 wizard paragon and it's struggling versus DDTs around 117. So I think it's safe to say that the, <laughs> that the main tower is not exactly an, a, a really good right clicker, I guess. Okay, so let's try out the second ability. The second ability is called Metamorphosis, I think. And what this ability is supposed to do is it's supposed to transform the wizard itself and make it into a strong attacker. So I think the Phoenix is going to do disappear yeah there we go so the phoenix disappeared oh and look at that a brand new attack so this is the dragon's breath attack which leaves walls of fire on the ground that's very interesting okay so let's try this thing again let's use the metamorphosis ability and let's see what happens so it's a dragon's breath attack and then the mana gets consumed by a rate of 5,000 per second it looks like so you kind of want to have max mana again for this thing but it's just a combination where you want to you want to do a big blast with the first ability and you want to clear the entire screen and then have zomgs appear or you want to use the wizard itself as an auto attacker right but this main attack when the phoenix is inactive and when it's just the this thing doesn't look yeah this beam that is shooting this doesn't look like a, a strong attack at all i'm gonna be honest okay so that was a degree 100 but let's try a degree one just to kind of get a gauge on what's the difference between them and what what's basically the damage difference is there any changes happening with the graveyard or i guess well the first thing that i'm noticing is that this phoenix is throwing a lot less fireballs let me just turn on all star for a second so the number of fireballs is a lot lower which i guess it's gonna scale i, I guess it's the the damage thing right it's just gonna do less damage it's gonna throw less fireballs and it's gonna be in general weaker but let's check the graveyard so it's a hundred thousand again that thing is not changing i was gonna say the level 10 ability but the second ability the metamorphosis one is on a super long cooldown which probably means that it's gonna slap when you activate it. i guess that's kind of the thing so let's activate the first ability the level three i guess uh so it's again the same thing it's zero mgs and then just yeah same thing so it consumes everything consumes all the mana and this thing is super yeah when you, when you're left with this base wizard this thing is is very bad i mean i i had to use the ability right there i i just had to use it just so the phoenix cleans up so basically the default state is i guess gonna be the um just having the phoenix up and then when you need damage you're gonna activate the the second ability the metamorphosis one which is just a lot and it pops purple balloons so that's nice to know so when the ability is active it pops purples i don't see any walls of fire so i don't get how those are getting summoned yeah there we go so i guess it has to pop like a more class balloon or something like that and then boom the graveyard is over and it starts filling it up again 